Hello everybody, welcome back to the guidance of the EcoStructure Operator Terminal Expert. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the rotation to animate some objects. So let's go to the presentation so we can talk about this functionality. So inside the software we have um, the possibility to play with the object figures, okay? And you can rotate using the center, okay, as a as a reference point to rotate the object, okay? But this rotation feature is a little bit different. It allows you to do this. For example, this is the object, and if we it have a center point, okay, and then you can move the object like this, okay? So what we need to do okay in order to make this movement okay is work with the object in this way so what we need to do is to check this so what it does is to have a uh, two reference point okay one in the center okay of the moment that, that we are going to use okay and another point the center point the base point the base point what we call okay which is this point. So we have the object, for example, this circle over here, and this would be the movement that we want. So this movement would be to 0, 90 degrees, 180, 270, and then 360, 0 again. Okay. So this would be the movement, the movement, the angle. Okay. And then we have the rotation center that would be this point. And in order to calculate this point, okay, there are a few things that we need to check. For example, the radius that we want, okay, the width and eighth of the object that we are going to work. And based on that, there is some calculation we can do, okay, in order to calculate this. If we go to the help of the EcoStructure machine, EcoStructure operator terminal expert, okay, you can see here this example, okay, how to make the rotation based on the rotation center and so on. Okay, so basically it will be something like this. Okay, so there are a few things that we need to check. We need to check which is the um, base point. Okay, this one, this is the option and this is trajectory that we want. The rotation center, okay, and then make the calculation. Okay, so we depend the distance between this point that we have over here, okay, to the in a x axis okay we have this point and this one we need to calculate this this direction okay probably if i put in this way this direction okay this size compared to this size over here okay that would be the rotation center the x okay and then the other one which is the rotation center y okay that compares the the distance for the object, okay, should be this one, okay, compared to this one, from this point to this point, okay. So, as we want this movement over here, okay, the egg that we need to check, okay, you can see it goes from here to here, okay. So, that's why, in this case, I divide by 2 the 8, of the option that I have over here, okay, and then I add the radius, okay, in order to calculate this part. But it would depend basically on the object that you have, okay, if it's bigger in this way or in this size and in the moment that you want, okay, that is the idea to have this movement. So what we're going to do is to make like a movement movement of a car in a roundabout, okay? Um, so we can it's round this part, but what we're going to do is to open the EcoStructure Operator Terminal Expert and create a new project to see this. So the idea is to place the object in the middle or in some place, okay? Check which is the imagine that this is a car, okay? take the base point and check the rotation center okay and then make the calculation so for example in this case the radius of this one okay is 92.5 which is from the center of the 
this case I'm going to make in this direction, okay, the movement. So it will be from here to here, plus the eight in this case to the half, okay. I'm going to add this, and then I'm going to make this calculation, okay. And for the uh, center X, okay, will be this length, okay, compared with this one. In this case, as you can see, this is not like the circle, okay, this one is a rectangle similar to a car so let's go to the to the software so we can really understand how we can work with this how it looks like so if you go to the operator terminal expert i just grab a picture okay of the object and then a rectangle that should be the car so if we go deeper over here in the properties let me just copy this okay this is the rotation i want to show you before okay which is this one the angle and there is something here that we cannot assign a variable okay but we can play with these three objects they are the one that we are going to calculate over here so in this case I have this object called rectangle one and in here I'm trying to access steadily to the rotation center X Y and the angle so if we go here graphic objects, we can access to the rectangle and some properties of this object. And I'm going to work with this tree, the rotation. So if we go over here, okay, I'm going to delete this. Okay. What I'm going to do is to manually or automatically, sorry, increase the rotation angle. So I'm going to start from zero and increasing 90, 180, to 70 to zero again okay so what i have done here on the screen what i have done is to create a periodic action 100 milliseconds and i use the rotation angle and i add one to the same value so this will increase automatically and when the value reach the 350 and 60 it will go to zero once again Okay, that is the idea of this. So it will move from here to here and all the way around. Okay. So in order to check the points, okay, from this one compared to the point that we have over here, what I usually do, um, I just assign another cycle over here and try to just to check the axis and everything. Okay. So you can see over here, the size approximately okay just to check the the center that you have in order to positionate the device in the place okay in order to check the the measures okay so you have here the radius here you can easily check the size and everything that you want okay in order to calculate the coordinates as i show you in here okay so just need to place the device the device the object in there and make the calculations in order to center the car in this case or it could be the option that you want so the idea basically of this is to make the rotation you can make something fancy um, in the login page for the customer for the operator so if we simulate this let me just check okay Da, 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 initial page phi, which is the car. Okay, device simulate. Let's simulate this. Okay, so this is how increasing the angle. As you can see, it's going to crash doing something else. But you can see how is uh, how the rotation affect um, the option these two elements. So. I already made the calculation for this. So if we go over here, we can see the numbers that I want, that I want to use over there. So if we go to the simulation here, oops, here, okay. So the center will be 50, okay. And this one will be 358. I know that it doesn't have the right precision, but it's similar to the visualization so it's good enough 
so 358 okay and you can see the car moving over there so this can give you like uh, if you want for example to make uh, something moving around and just to indicate that something is loading you can put it there you can use your imagination okay in order to check what you have done in there so it will depend on what do you want to show in the login or do some animation so this is to directly access into the variables of the object but let me just go back here if you want to make this fix okay so we don't need to touch it every time and do something else okay we can link the a variable to that so if we open the project here I'm going to variables okay so I'm going to add an integer value car uh, rotation center x and this value should be 50 okay I'm going to add a new one car rotation center y and this value should be 358 so 358 over here okay good so once this is done what we need to do is to assign this to the properties of the object so yeah this one's not this one so if we go here to the car we can go to shape size location animation and here on the rotations we can assign a variable over there so here variable car center x and here y so if we simulate this once again uh, ta -ta -ta, we should have the initial values for the car okay and it would move um, i ain't seeing it the other screen okay and it would move directly okay so it will assign everything so how this movement can be seen on an hmi so for example i was playing a little bit around with some animes so i've been doing this okay so you can see how the objects are moving around the center okay but if you want to see the car you have this you can see now there is nothing assigned this is going to crash so just put the values 50 that we have already calculated 358 and there we go you can see the car moving around okay so this is how you can work with the orientation okay with the rotation of the objects inside the eco structure operator terminal expert probably at the beginning just to realize how the works a little bit complicated or it could be a little bit complicated but once you know I realize how to take the points and how to make the movements of the object it's very simple so thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one Thank you.